Hello sewing friends and welcome to another episode of Sequin Girly Creates. Today is the results of my creating a working from home comfy but sort of feeling put together wardrobe. So if there's something you'd like to see, stick around. believe it's time to show you now I know it's only been a week since I shared my ideas but I can guarantee you it's taken me longer than a week to make all of this I filmed the ideas weeks ago and then have been working on it all so <laughs> please don't worry I have not been sewing <laughs> this much in one week I'm going to wiggle over because it gives room all down here then to show the pictures of the outcome. So what I'm going to do is share each item, put stills and videos in and tell you where it came from. So I'll tell you where the fabric came from and also how I built the, the outfit from a pattern. Let's start with what I'm wearing. So I'll put video and a still in here. I've styled this up today with the mint green. What I've got on is a... So it's a knit, it's a lovely um, soft knit with stretch and I've actually made a pair of trousers from these as well. And this fabric is still available, it's from Pound Fabrics. They do it in this colour and in like a gold yellow colour as well. I think it's a tiger print and um, I have turned this into, as you can see here, a full length dress but I haven't stopped there. I've also made an infinity scarf so that when it's chilly you've got that bit around your neck that you need but when the spring comes and you still want to wear it you've got and the autumn you've got that flexibility of not needing that but also means you can put this on with something else so thank you to so Sarah style for this idea um, I'm going to try and do it with as many of my sort of wintry makes as I can but I did it with this to show you. So this is based on a Tilly and the Buttons Stella jumper. I chose the Stella jumper because I'll put the line drawing in here. It's got a nice curve at the waist, which creates that shaping um, that you want when you're trying to make like a long dress. One of the options is to do a, a cut down the back or across the waist because it stops the bagging. But if you get the shape right, and I liked the Tilly and the Buttons jumper for that reason, it's created that shape. Now I went really long with this one, intentionally so, because it means that I can wear it at home without any tights on if I want to, which I'm doing today. Today it's about 11 degrees Celsius outside, so with um, no tights on it means I'm warm and the fabric is really soft against my legs. I have got a long sleeve top underneath and I did quite a long cuff because I quite like a long cuff, it, it feels snuggly and it creates a little bit of a billow there. And I did a neck band which I stitched down as well. There's a slight, there's a split of about 10 inches at the bottom just because um, I just like that because if you've got a pair of coloured tights on, it pops out the colour. I've styled it today with some mint um, vintage necklaces that I found in charity shops. But I will put in while I'm talking here um, some ways I've styled it. It is designed to be worn at home so I wouldn't have necks or other things. But I can tell you already this is super comfy. And oddly when I was wandering around getting ready to record this video my other half said how much he liked this outfit as well. So wasn't expecting that. Um, what I did for the Stella jumper was I cut all of the top out. And then where it curves out for the sort of the hips, because the Stella jumper is designed to sit at the top of the hips, I just kept going straight down. And then where you've got the split, that creates shape as well. I just did the, the sleeve, how it was, but as I said, made a slightly longer cuff. I like to create my own cuff bands. And I made my own neck band as well, because I just measure them and attach them. So I attached the neck band using the overlocking technique and then did an over stitch on the top i made all of this with my overlocker i reinforced the part where the split is though with some stitches and then a straight stitch to hem it i did cons i'm an hour about not hemming it but i noticed that if you sort of fiddle at it it does fray so i hemmed it and obviously hemmed the split as well 
really happy with this this is a great one because i could easily just stick a pair of boots on and whip out to the supermarket if i've forgotten something so it's a good first one right let's do the next one now the next one is a uh, stella jumper by fiber mood so it's not till in the button stella jumper this is another stella but a different one and it's a back wing and i'll put the line drawing in here because what I really like about this pattern is that you have a panel in the arm piece here which means you can play with like the design and because it's a raglan you've got a piece here and the body piece underneath so I got this gorgeous fabric that you'd have seen in part one if you saw it as a remnant from pound fabrics and I would say it's like a ponty because it's like this on the back and I had this stretch cord left over for making a deer and doe scirocco and i realized that the two colors work perfectly together and so i made a stellar jumper and extended it down into a dress again i did the splits at the side because i just think it makes the walking easier i did the raglan part at the top in the cord and the lower part there to tie it together I used a mint green cuffing and on the neck band as well because I felt that sort of made it all pop a bit and the one thing I would say is because it's a bat wing it comes in it does have a bit of sort of looseness around the back and things that could be remedied by um, cutting the skirt off and reattaching it um, or maybe considering doing like a back line down it but for wearing at home i'm really happy with it just realizing the sunshine how gorgeous these pops of like purpley blue are i don't know if they're showing up very well on here but in the sunshine they are this is super snuggly i love that it's a completely different colorway for me interesting that i've got the mint on there and i think it's a great use of the remnants the scraps of this stretch cord and can you see i did them in the two directions to make it interesting as well and the use of a ponte that i loved but didn't have enough to do just that on it so but i think it breaks it up it could almost have been too overwhelming so i'll just shuffle over so there's room it might have been too overwhelming without um all the colors in that I mean it's so easy to style up because you've got the oranges the blues it is just a lovely color combination in there so this is another one that all the fabrics are really soft so i can uh, leave tights off if I want or put base layers underneath but for me this is a win I think that the idea of combining the two fabrics like that with the, um, the raglan and the bat wing I'll definitely do a jumper like that because put play with the textures as well so sometimes people say to me I don't know how to combine things well they've both got this similar like tealy uh, JD green base so that works but you've got great level of pattern with a texture and I think that's how it sometimes you're just going to lay things together and you'll see if it feels like oh yes or oh no that doesn't oh and you just it just doesn't have a, it just doesn't fit right your brain will settle if it feels good and if it doesn't so don't be afraid just to lay things out together and that's how I found these two is just by laying things around so that one's definitely a win as well I may well make a an infinity scarf in this or maybe that on the other side so that I've got that to put on as well. Next one, not so much of a winner for me. This is made from the LB Pullover. Free, it was free during uh, December. Uh, Fibre Mood did a 12 days of Christmas sort of giveaway. And the LB Pullover by, put it in the notes below, was free so i know a lot of people really love the lb pullover it's got a really big stiff neck which i think you're supposed to interface but if you are a regular follower of mine you will know my feelings on interfacing it's a no from me um i got this fabric from someone's d stash on facebook so i thought it's a good knit fabric i'll give this a try i think it's okay this flops about because it's probably not 
robust enough and if it was like a cable knit it would hold itself up and I know a lot of people have done them but I don't think that's the kind of neck for me like it is I'm I'm not sure so I'm glad I did it in this um, twirl fabric first I also am not 100% sure if it's the pattern for me and so I've done it I think it's okay but probably as ones go this may be the one I don't wear I'm putting it in here um, the other ones at the moment I'm loving more than this one but it's important to give these things part of this was giving it a try and actually for you you might find that that's a better shape on you because everything suits people differently so not a hundred percent loving now the next one love 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 and thank you to i think it was so sarah style again who took the naya t-shirt i saw it on someone else's first i think it might have been uh loves red on instagram i think her name's caroline i saw her do one and then she said where she got the idea from so i went and had a look this is the tammy handmade naya t-shirt and the t-shirt um she she lengthened it and i really liked the look of that so i made a twirl of the t-shirt first to see if i liked it and i did it's quite an interesting shape i like the fact that it has a sleeve cuff that you stitch on like um like a neck band and so i made it in this ponty from minerva first and I thought I'd got enough to make trousers in this and sadly I didn't so worked out well with this this is a really nice ponty I have over stitched the neck band I didn't do it on the sleeve cuffs because I didn't need to but I actually brought the sleeve cuff in so this is further in on the shoulder than it is on the pattern I took about a centimeter out so I actually cut it off and then reattached it because it just was too far down my arm for me and i have worn this several times already i really like the length i've done it really long i've done the split again so they're the split and i'll put the the pictures here this color this blue goes well with lots of things like you could do it with purple i've done it with mustard really easy to put like a necklace over the top like this and just do some colored tights underneath I actually felt really put together in this. I wore this to work one day and I loved it. And I had a compliment from a random person as well. So it didn't stop there. So it didn't stop there. I got, oh, mm, hang on a minute. Yes, it's the other colorway of this from Pound Fabric. And uh, I made another one because when you like something, just do it again. So I've got this one. I've worn this already and I again stitched over the neck band. I kept the sleeve band longer on this one. So if I hold the two up, I'll show you. So there's the neck band and can you see that there's the difference? That's how much I took it in because it was that one felt like it was swamping me. This one for some reason works um i did the split <laughs> the same again and i think i did it a slightly different length but again it's just great these are this is a winner winner for me because the short sleeve means i can do it um into like other seasons i can do like a long sleeve top or like a top where i can pull it up a bit roll neck or no roll neck i will make the matching um infinity scarf as well and i just feel you can just throw these on at home i can sort of fluff around in the sofa without worrying uh, but also can go out to work in them as well so that is a winner um i realize i've left two in the other room hang on okay so sorry about that i realized i had two in the other room so this one is a Tilly and the Buttons Freya, which I've extended. So this one is an on the shoulder. So this is a the Stella, which is a drop shoulder. The Freya is an on the shoulder. And this is a fabric that I got from First for Fabrics in the sale. It is brushed backed on the back and it was like a jersey viscous brush back. 
I wanted to make a pair of trouser knees, didn't have enough of the walk boldly, so I decided to make a dress. Oh my goodness, it's like um walking around like wrapped in a marshmallow. I can't I can't think how else to describe it really. Hang on. So it's like walking around in a marshmallow. I did a neck band and I did I sti I overstitch this? No, I didn't need to on this one. I did a long sleeve without a cuff, but I think I'm going to change that and do a cuff. It was like a wider sleeve. I slightly flared out this dress towards the bottom and I didn't do a split and I did I've left the hem at the moment because it's fine this is not going to fray the first time I put this on I did think oh it's showing every lump and bump but actually once you've got a pair of tights on and the top underneath it doesn't I did worry about being just like this all one plain colour which for me is really unusual and if you notice the rest are either textured or patterned but for wearing at home I chucked on a big pair of long socks with it and I was snuggly and wasn't that the aim of this I could style it up and I will so I'll wiggle back over again I will put some pictures in here of me sort of styling it up etc but this one probably less likely to put it on to go to the office or something but when I just want something I I tell you what, I trialled wearing this on a day when I had really bad menstrual pains and nothing on my tummy, nothing pressing. It was just this soft fabric. It was perfect. So with that being part of the vision, this wins for that. In terms of going out about in the world, some of the others win a bit stronger. But till the buttons frayer, yes, you can extend it. <clears throat> And then the final one, I haven't put the net band on yet. Um, let's let's keep it real because uh, can't always get everything done. Now, this was two fabrics that I hadn't got enough of to make a dress fully on their own, but really liked them. They're both amazing, like super brush backs, that one. And the blue was left over from making something else. I mean, look at that, look. <laughs> So, you know, winning in that department. So I was like, okay, let's try using the Mile End by Closet Core. Now, the problem with the Mile End is that if you follow the pattern, the back piece curves round to the front. So how would you do that if you extended it? So I actually folded those in and cut it straight down. And then when I cut the front, cut the front straight down. So obviously the front came in, so I just straightened it out. But the reason to do the mile end was to use the, the yoke because it allowed me to put the two colours together, which I think worked perfectly. And it allowed me to get out of this fabric, which I didn't have enough of on its own, the, the length I wanted. So this is the back yoke that exists on the mile end. And it's a good, generous yoke. And then you've got the sleeve. Now, I decided to do the blue on the front because I felt that Otherwise, if you look at this fabric, it could almost be too overwhelming. So I did the blue sleeve on the front. Um, before now, I've done it on the back, so it flows from the yoke. But I did do the lovely sleeve darts there, which even in this fabric, stitched perfectly on my sewing machine. I didn't do those with the overlocker. I just did those on my sewing machine. That and it was absolutely absolutely fine now the front yoke was created by me to break up the color a bit more against my face and the detail but you just cut that fold the pattern up and I've talked about how to make yokes in another previous episode so I'll link it below and I think that works better because you've got that flow of the blue but you've also got this nice pattern but I think if you look that pattern against my face not so great but with the blue much better and then it meant I had the whole rest of the dress in this I will be making a an infinity scarf to go with it I do need to do the neckband and the reason I haven't done it is because I haven't decided whether to do it in this blue fabric or to use some 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 ribbing I haven't made a decision that's why it's unfinished and I want to do cuffing on the sleeve as well. But in terms of snuggle level, this one wins for snuggle level. It doesn't win for making me feel 
put together. So this one is probably an unlikely to wear out the house unless I'm throwing a big coat over the top and pop into the co-op. But the others I shared before, I would say um, I would definitely wear to work or out of the house quite easily. So these two for just wearing at home and these ones including the one I've got on, happy to wear out of the house. But I think as, as experiments go, that's pretty good. And I also think as experiments go, only having this one, which might be the fabric, it might be the pattern, not work, is pretty good too. So this to me is like a dress version of some joggers. Um, so I'm quite happy that it's a, a wear at home. And do you know what? If I was going on a long car journey, I think I'd happily wear this, particularly for turning up at someone who you know when you get to the end and can just get changed. So that is a winner in terms of, as I say, snuggliness. Now, the one I haven't talked about is the a pattern that was based on the vintage pattern I was inspired to do. I'm gonna put the, that, that here. Um, I tried, I really tried to follow the sewing instructions, but honestly, I couldn't, I could not work it out. I tried, I really did. And I could understand like 80% of it, but I was like, nope, I'm just doing it my own way. So what I did was I used the pieces. So I used the, that shaped piece, the, the, the back piece, where is it? There, that piece. And I cut my own collar because it was the same length. Now I based the dress on the tab we have made in Naya dress. Look, if it isn't broken, why fix it? So I based it on that, but I didn't put the sleeve cuff on. I just did um, a hem and i then cut a slash down the front as per the vintage instructions sorry i've got a muddle here so i cut down the front of the fabric and reinforced at the bottom i realize now i want to reinforce that differently so there will in future episode will i'm going to put like a little bit of the ribbing over there i put a black collar on and I've done it like this. So it is almost like, like I was saying about the Donny shirt, but I didn't need to do it with any sort of weird, complicated thing like the Donny shirt. I did it with the whole rest of the top intact with no line down the front. And it's turned out like that. So that's the facing on the inside. There's the collar, which I think the collar works perfectly because it, it fits in, um, but it just means it breaks it up around my neck. It means it can sit wide open or sit sort of more up. I haven't pressed it yet, but I have given it a try on. So I will put an initial picture in here. In a future episode of my vlog, I will share the final. I am going to stitch this facing in because I don't know about the rest of you, but that flapping up business really annoys me. And I'm not worried about having a stitch around there. Um, it needs a good press, but in terms of something different it looks different to the others which was the aim that certainly has worked I haven't had a chance to wear it yet so I will let you know how that goes it's 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 a different pattern for me as well I did look at it and think actually I'd like it as a top but that's the great thing about this experiment is if any of them I get to the point where I'm like mm, no I'm not going to wear it like that I can chop it off and still have it as a jumper and then I've got spare fabric at the bottom or can make the bottom half into a skirt so like this one if I end up thinking that all this sort of pumpkin colour is too much in one go I can make a top and a skirt and wear them as separate. So nothing will be wasted. The same with the Naya ones. I end up turning them into T-shirts. That's why I have spare that I can make something else with. But at the moment, I've got a great collection now of wear from home dresses that I can also wear out. That vintage pattern instruction, I couldn't find anyone who could help me work it out. Uh, and I did try, but it's okay. I've done what I wanted, which was to create like a collar because the rest are um, either just neck bands or like this one with an infinity scarf to go over the top. 
and I wanted something different and that has worked. And so overall, let's I'm just checking the time. Okay, overall, would I say this has been a good experiment? Yes, I think that most jumper patterns can and t-shirt patterns can be extended. You might want to think about your waist shaping. You might want to think about splitting the whole back piece in two so it curves into your back better or splitting it that way. So if you're getting like a lot of bagging at the back, you will want to think about that. And so Amelia has a, a good episode where she talks about that because if it's one continuous piece of fabric, it's going to skim over the shape. But if you've got a line, it's much happier to follow it. So I was prepared to, to do that if needed, but I'm okay with, with how they've turned out for me. I think that um, most jumpers could be extended and tops could be extended. So find one that you like and give it a go. I think that if, like me, you're looking for something to wear at home, today, this one's so long, I feel like I'm living my sort of Margot from the good life 70s dreams in this long creation. <laughs> um, but also, what I would say is it's nice to have something different than the jogger set. So I'll put some posts in while I'm talking. I've now created a good selection of jogger sets. So I've got those as a go-to as well. So they're like the perfect transition from a pyjama to um, uh, something to put on during the day. And so they have had a lot of wear. They've been in good rotation. But it's nice to have something different and the dresses work well for me because um, when I don't, even the jogger has that elastic around the waist, however carefully or nicely I do that, and actually the dress doesn't have that. But also I love a dress and these are probably a bit like, you know, like a house dress. This is sort of my glammed up version of a house dress. And it's also a great way to take advantage of these gorgeous brushed back fabrics where you really want to feel the benefit of those. But maybe you don't want a, 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 a lounge suit or a pantsuit or a jogger suit. Um, and actually you want something a bit different. So I hope this has been useful. Do let me know below your favourite. If you haven't seen episode one, go back and see the planning stage because there are some fabrics I haven't used here and you might be wanting to tell me what you think I should do with those and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like see you again soon bye